Greetings everybody, I'm Clive Games Online. Welcome back to more Danganronpa. In the last episode, it was the death of Sayaka and Junko, who we see right now. And our investigation has commenced to find out who killed Sayaka. In this episode, we're going to be doing that investigation. Let's get to work. Yeah, we should probably head to our room first. Head in my room where Psyche's corpse still remained. Better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. There's scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it. I was right there in the other room. If only I heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? Hmm. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you can know. Well. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. So, evidence of a struggle. You have the sword. This is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. This means it was used to attack somehow. And plus, it's been taken out of a chief. I haven't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I should have been surprised it's co I shouldn't be surprised it's coating gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and then the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. So somebody held the sword, and evidently the uh, marks on the blade, or the, like the lack of coating, is from a uh, is from the impact of the sword. What about the sheath? This is the replica the replica sword I brought back for self defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath. But huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been uh, made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It'd just slide off in the middle of the fight. So, why are there scratches on the sheath? Well, it was evidently hit by something based on the scratches. But the what and the why is still the mystery. What do you have to say, Mondo? By the way... You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. Kill could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? You could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard. <laughs> Shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is a scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That all gets sorted out when the time comes. You have anything to say, Sakura? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey! I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come with, I will follow your lead. Alright, so she's neither confirming nor denying that we did it. Great. Hey, Kyoko. Probably called her name while she was investigating the area, but. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? No. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she was doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Alright then, go about the bathroom. She'll look around here first. Alright, great. What else should we check? Roller? 
looking at the Link Roller, it looks like there was way less than there was before. So I gotta see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little. With our key. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must have been my room key. If I remember correctly. Oh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we, we switched keys too. So Saika would have had the key in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then... How did the car get into the room in the first place? Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even though I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? If you're saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. You know, it's not possible either. Psycho was in here when we switched rooms. With how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she could have dropped it. So how did the killer... Hmm. Interesting. The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that's been... That's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. No, Mondo. What? What? We ain't, exact, we ain't, ain't exactly in the mood to be building funky furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, Ben? What? Not just me. What? Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way, none of the guys had opened their toolkits yet. Because, like, why the hell would we? Anything else? Notepad, maybe? Notepad's still here. Don't think it's relevant. What about our bed? Our gouges on the bed like someone attacked. What the hell happened here? I'll find out, Makoto. I'll find out. No, don't talk to Sakura again. What have we not investigated yet? Maybe something here? Oh, it's just the display stand the sword was on. Check the scratches. We'll check it again, just for me good measure. Yeah, same thing as the, uh, the rest. Those are fully soundproof. Yeah, nothing, sh nothing's changed there. Um, what about what about this surveillance camera? Yeah, nothing new there. Check the key. Maybe now we can head to the bathroom. Nope. You have anything new to say, Kyoko? Nope. Still the same. Okay, so there's something else in here, probably. Listen. Oh, no, this is new. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? I think she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. It's interesting. Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Did someone who used it to... I see. Very interesting room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness has been added. Is that everything here? Can we actually go into the bathroom now? Yep. Bathroom. On the other side of this door. No, I can't let it get to me. 
I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. What can we investigate? I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... Now's no time to think like that. Well, the Mama Kuma file and ver to verify what it said about her body. Sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That was the killing blow. Whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? It's probably the knife in her stomach. That's probably the murder weapon. Sayaka's right wrist is broken. There also appears to be some gold. Some blood on our left index finger. Well. The palms are clean as well, by the looks of it. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so uh, what is it that broke her wrist? Must have happened earlier. And that's true. It's also very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. Go attack Saika in the main room, which is where when her wrist, wrist got broken, and then cornered her in the bathroom. Alright, what what about this? This looks like a 3 and a 7. A 37. Look past Saika and to the wall behind her. Here you saw. Number is 11037. Did Saika do this? I don't see who else would. Is there anything else? A short sharp object. Nah, thanks now. Is that everything here? Yeah, that's everything here. It would seem... Looks like you found it, right, Makoto? Blay numbers, that's most likely Saika's dying message. What do you mean by dying message? So... Something a victim writes right before they die. Usually is a way to tell people who killed them. Generally, whoever writes down doesn't make it totally obvious. I'll either write it somewhere the killer wouldn't notice, or write out and code or something. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Hey. Have you ever heard of Ellery Queen? Who? <sighs> Never mind. Is that everything we need to do here? Can we leave now? Oh. Alright, guess we're not done yet. It would seem... Bloody numbers. Never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? The numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. She wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her. It means she must have wrote them by turning only her hands toward the wall. So if you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well... Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end, and you'll remain unvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added. Seems like Kyoko knows what Saika's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who's better at asking the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? It gets stuck? 
Yeah, I guess I'm the only one. The door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Correct. So the door doesn't fit in the... It doesn't quite fit in the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? We'll just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? Doorknob. What the heck? The doorknob is practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, obvious it was this was intentional. What? It was intentional? And why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. And apparently, struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Can you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is, only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm? Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really trying to get into all this. I see. And that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob. Didn't really understand any of this, but... We gave our room a good look, so now uh, we should start looking for where the murder weapon might have come from. As well as the DVD sack I got. Might be some other areas worth checking out too. And talk with others. So, I will leave guard duty to Mondo and Sakura. Leave and... Wait. Definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. It's Sayaka's room, right? The nameplate has my name on it. It was switched, apparently. Why would anyone do that? Let's head into Sayaka's room then, which has our nameplate, so that's gonna be a bit confusing. One thing in the trash can. A DVD with Saiga's name on it. She got really upset, so what did she see? Might not be directly related, but yeah, it's worth checking. So, that's something else to add. Go to the AV room. Well, first, while we're still in the area... Check the trash room, because they could have gotten rid of evidence. Sturdy gate here, and no way you get past. Monokuma appears! It's the end of the line. Trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How did you get the gate open? No, no, you can't go any further! No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! You're not gonna say anything else, are you? This is stupid. It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go any further! Yeah, yeah, go away, Monokuma. Well, cleaning duty's been added to the truth bullets. So only the person on cleaning duty has access to the trash. I guess it's a way to minimize getting rid of evidence. Looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? So a, fa a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? Just so happens, Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. 
Not so unclean, dude. The school will be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the for the position. Hmm. It's gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't get, had a chance to get started. And since you're unclean, dude, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go. Of course. It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm-hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually, you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going into all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So, in other words... Actually... Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. Anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted. Destroying evidence would be easy. The girl would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen! Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard! Hey, Faye. Did you want... Why did you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, um... I, I just decided to volunteer for something. I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar, I know why you did it. Is it, like... I'm gonna dig through all the girl's trash. Looking for, you know... And poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All my love is for Tweety. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired to you and then turn to completely unforgivable. I would never get tired of Tweety. <sighs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only 3D, the only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. I am not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that. Hm. So worried about Kifumi's questionable morality, here's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to, dis to disposing of it. <laughs> What? So if you if you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on another topic, Kifumi, since you are on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you even helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You got it! Oh, okay. So easy. So Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. Hmm. You'd like me to open the gate, hmm. wouldn't you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. Learn how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita and found themselves a way out. Whatever, well, please just hurry up. Da -da 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 -da! Okie dokie, leave it to me. So he pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Nyagi! However, Mr. Nyagi... Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use this trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along! No. Just wanted to see if the actual killer tried to destroy any evidence or not. Hmm. The actual hmm. killer hmm. is you, isn't hmm. it? You want to see if you left anything behind. <laughs> Wait, maybe a parallel world? No, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Some sort of glass. Shards of broken glass scatter around in front of the incinerator. It's like there's some kind of glass ball. Fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Is that... You know what this is? Mm -hmm. So if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kidding aside. It's the kind of thing you might see on a, any big street, city street corner. 
gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. So it's like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? Only one person it could be. It should all still be in the gym. I better go uh, to find out for sure. It's probably Heroes, based on the gaze into the future part. What's this? Well, we're checking the incinerator. Back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet. And it's on. Mm hmm. You see the green yellow buttons next to the mount of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. Press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on clean duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time it was down here. Was it a fairy? Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? They said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes. About that, there could be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed... As soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I hadn't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate... Most suspicious. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Scenario has been added. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. Burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a pair of hunk of burning love? Anyway, this is. It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of a, a sleeve from a button up shirt. Now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... So all that's left is some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Get the burnt shirt piece. This whole thing is quite strange, indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. Completely unforgivable! That's all me, Mr. Nyagi. Will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it! I'm sure of it! Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living one of his comic book fantasies. Let's leave him be. We have other things to explore. We still have to investigate the knife and where it came from. We still have to look at the... We still have to look at Saika's video. And we still need to find out about that crystal ball. So, next time on Danganronpa, we're probably going to be finishing up with our investigation. But what comes after that? Who knows? See you guys then.